Italian food comes in a genuinely infinite variety. Even a native Italian cannot definitively state which Italian cuisine is the greatest. This enormous variety of foods is caused by both the stark differences in the regional traditional cuisines and the seasonal specials. A traveler who loves delicious cuisine and wants to visit Italy finds it quite difficult to select which foods to try from this enormous array of delectable gastronomic delights. We chose for you in this video five of the best Italian foods that you just must try on your upcoming vacation to Italy. <music> Greetings and welcome to our channel, everyone. Today's video will discuss five of the best Italian dishes that you simply must taste. If you're a new viewer, don't forget to click the bell button and subscribe. You can start with these tried and true suggestions that I provide in this post if you want to love Italian cuisine. I welcome you to leave a remark if I accidentally left off any of your favorite Italian recipes, or if you have any inquiries regarding Italian cooking. Number 1. Pizza Naples, the city that claims to be the origin of pizza, is where tomato sauce is undoubtedly put to the thin layer of dough. It quickly rose to prominence as a sign of racial harmony and the culinary flag of our nation around the globe. The most well-known and most straightforward pizza, Pizza Margarita, was undoubtedly created in Naples. Made with tomato sauce, mozzarella, and basil, it also features the colors of our flag. It is reported that Queen Margarita of Savoy wanted to try the well-known, straightforward, and tasty meals that many of her fellow citizens adored during one of her trips in the city at Villa Roseberry. In Chiaia, Brandy's pizza cook forced her test the dish and gave it her name, Margarita. A true Neapolitan pizza, possibly sampled at Spacanapoli, and without the enrichment of too many pointless ingredients, is a must-try while traveling through Italy. There are good and excellent pizzerias all over the country today, and frequently this humble dish is used as a justification for putting delicious ingredients on top of excellent dough, but for the average consumer, whether they are Italian or not, there are basically two options for pizza, the softest Neapolitan style and the crispiest Roman style. The Palermo Sfintiuni, or the recipes from the Italian Riviera, where we may discover Sardinara in San Remo, Pisciara in Bordighera, or Pisciadella in Ventimiglia, are other places that offer comparable dishes. However, if you want to experience a superb and authentic pizza, you must travel to Italy, which is where we can discover pizza and other comparable dishes in Naples, Rome, Palermo, and the Italian Riviera. Number 2. Baked Lasagna Fresh pasta served with one of the most well-known sauces in the world. Bolognese sauce, more commonly referred to as Bolognese, is the foundation of the best Italian cuisine. Ragu is a sauce made from a sauce of celery, onion, and carrot, to which are then added finely chopped beef and frequently small additions of pork and tomato concentrated, long and slow cooking to obtain a thick and fragrant sauce that goes to season fresh pasta, like tagliatelle, or stuffed, like classic tortellini, or even in our case, becomes the protagonist of. Bologna is the birthplace of one of the richest and most attractive regional kitchens in the country, Millions of kilometers of fresh pasta have been spread by generations of sfogline, or women involved in the preparation of fresh pasta. One of these is the traditional rectangular lasagna, which is alternately layered with layers of ragu and bechamel, and dusted with grated parmesan cheese after being briefly boiled, drained, and dried. We create the lasagna, which will continue to cook in the oven, by repeating the process multiple times. The other most well-known lasagna comes from the Marche region, where it is called Vincis Grassi, or from Venice, where it is called Pasticcio, or from Calabria and Sicily, where the ragu is thickened with salami, meatballs, and hard-boiled eggs. Or even in the more vegetarian Liguria, where everyone enjoys a wonderfully flavorful and light pesto-baked lasagna. Number 3. Fettuccine Carbonara Rome becomes known as the capital of spaghetti, and carbonara has much to do with this, since it has grown to be one of our nation's most renowned meals. It was created haphazardly using bacon, powdered egg yolk, milk, cream, and cheese, all foods that the allies who conquered Italy were armed with. And the creativity of a teenage cook from Bologna 
who put them together as a pasta sauce while making a meal for American officers. In place of bacon, egg yolk, and cheese, the recipe now calls for guanciale, which was first introduced in the 1960s. The cream vanished when fashion changed, favoring the preparation's flavor. The mythical Amatriciana, originally from Amatrice on the border with Abruzzo, bacon, pecorino cheese, and tomato, or its ancestor, the Grisha, the same ingredients but without tomato, or the Cacio e Pepe fusion of pecorino cheese, black pepper, and pasta cooking water are served alongside the carbonara in a culinary tour of Rome, the capital of pasta. These delectable recipes don't usually feature spaghetti. Amatriciana is typically served with bucatini and Cacio e Pepe with tonarelli. Number 4. Pesto Our basil sauce is the authentic culinary flag of the Italian Riviera, flying from the French Riviera to the Cinque Terre. The history of pesto is murky and muddled, much like the history of nearly any recipe, including well-known ones. The earliest written mention of pesto is from the end of the 19th century, but the sauce is undoubtedly much older. Ligurian basil, which tends to have a menthol flavor outside of Liguria. Vesalico garlic, a slow food presidium. Italian pine nuts, shredded Parmesan cheese, Sardinian pecorino cheese, extra virgin olive oil, and coarse salt are the main ingredients in today's meal. Real pesto shouldn't be aware of heating from blenders or other modern technology. The trusty mortar and pestle is still necessary to obtain the best results. Pesto is used in a wide variety of methods by chefs around the world, but in this case, pesto is the primary dipping sauce for pasta, whether it is fresh or dried. Fresh dough recipes such as mandili de se, trofiette, and gnocchi lasagna are readily available in Genoa. The trinette dish calls for dry pasta and is frequently served with diced potatoes and green beans. Number 5. Agnolotti, Tortellini, and Ravioli In Italy, there is a huge variety in the stuffed pasta family. There is not a single region from the north to Sicily whose traditional cuisine does not include one or more stuffed pasta recipes. The most diverse fillings are found inside the pasta wrapper, but these three in particular stand out. Modena and Bologna have been at odds over I tortellini for a very long time. Agnolotti del Plin, a Piedmont tradition, are stuffed with mixed meats and vegetables and served seasoned with roast sauce, with butter and sage, or even on its own on a napkin to thoroughly relish the taste. They have a pork filling with raw ham and mortadella and are solely swallowed in meat broth. The Ligurian version of the ravioli has chard, barrage, and beef cooked in tomato sauce as the filling. Curiously, Liguria is the only region in Italy where traditional recipe books for fish ravioli can be found dating back to the end of the 19th century. Guys, that's it for today's video. Are you itching to try one of these amazing dishes? Comment below with your thoughts and let us know. Send your friends this video. Remember to subscribe to our channel for more travel videos from Italy and to like, comment, and enjoy our video. We'll see you in the following one, as usual. Cheers!